So, having pillaged the island of its resources and dropped some silk thread and blink fronds that our intrepid adventurer has no use for as we have huge amounts of them in storage, it is now time, during the night time, to craft up a new raft up. Let's go ahead and pop uh, over this way. the world it is your friendly neighborhood slipgator here the last shell spirit chapter five back again playing some windbound thank you for joining me ladies and gentlemen we're back on the longest boat ever no we're gonna come in for a crash landing i have a sneaky suspicion hit the brake slipgator oh my god i'm amazing at this game so thanks for joining me on our super long raft you guys i have a couple of ideas first and foremost i feel like the whole idea I had about just waiting for bamboo or wood or whatever to make this raft bigger, it's just not going to work. It just isn't going to work. We're waiting too long. So I think we might do some stuff today with rebuilding the raft. Um, I'm not sure if we'll make it all the way through chapter five, um, but we'll, we'll work on it. We'll see. At one or two videos, and then I think we're going to be done with the game. A uh, really good game for sure, um, but I'm excited to see what the end has to offer. Let's go ahead and get this guy going. Now, wait, that's not going to even... And then it's just going to... Yeah, like that. That doesn't make any sense. Why don't we start our fire up over here and get some stuff and things done? No, I don't want to sail. No one wants to do that. Uh, I need these guys right here. Let's go ahead and start our fire. So, yeah, thanks for coming to hang out with me, you guys. A couple reminders, just FYI. Uh, uh, make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. If you want to see the channel do well, it helps with the stupid, dumb YouTube algorithm. And I did want to remind you guys, we do stream Monday through Friday, 5 to 9, uh, over at twitch.tv slash slipgator. There's a link in the down there. If you want to check out the streams, uh, please feel free to come on over at uh, your leisure and uh, say hi to us. We have a great time over there, and we'd love to see you as well. We're running a little bit low on arrows. I need boners. Uh, you know what? The other thing is, we haven't seen a plane stalker in a long-ass time. You know what's kind of weird about this game? The way the resources work is a little bit odd oh yeah just sit there homie because things like bones come mostly what did i kill him yes that was amazing we killed him dude uh with our very last shot from our bastion bow so uh yeah certain things like resources are kind of hard to get it's quite strange in fact i'm gonna go ahead and grab out of here this guy the sentinel soul gem uh, and we're going to go ahead and craft up a new... Dude, isn't that weird? Sometimes I can't see what I need for crafting. Hunter bow, plane stalker bow, stick bow, bastion bow, grass, rope, and sticks. Let's go ahead and pop over here. Grass, rope, uh, yoink, and then stickity doodas. We're going to need these. We're going to need some sticks. And then let's go ahead and craft up this guy. We'll make this again. All right. So, yeah, without plane stalkers, it's really hard to find bones. There are a couple of other guys that we can utilize to find bones, but, but not super easy. Now, can we take out this guy with just eight arrows remaining? Boink. Ooh, not a headshot, but he's stunned. He doesn't even know what to do. Right in his eye area. Dude, two shots to the brain eye. Nope, lower mouth. Uh, and the horn, absolutely nothing there. Bam, he's done it. All right, two gore horns down. Uh, hopefully, maybe. No, I don't think these guys drop any bones. Yeah, no. Big meat. Some arrows. We had, I think, 11 arrows to start with. Let's see how many total we get back here. That guy, that guy, and that guy. Oh, we, we're missing one. We got 10. You can see it right there in the ADS. There's 10 arrows. So, it doesn't look like there's a whole hell of a lot of stuff on this island. Maybe, maybe some bones from these guys. Maybe. It was one wood. Two wood? No, you can't see me. I'm too sneaky in my sneaky stuff and things. Bam! What? Go! Kill it! 38! One more! He's done it. All right, give me boners so I can make arrows. Ooh, more stamina. Dude, holy crap, there's a stamina deal up there. Boners! Yes! Oh, the most amazing thing I ever found right now. All right, so inside of here, let's go ahead and make basic arrows. Oh, I need blink fronds. I didn't get, grab any of those guys. All right, so I think there's some blinks over here on the island somewhere. I'm just going to clear this guy out. Like I said, there's a stamina deal over here. I'll clear the island, and then we'll BRBs, peeps. Blinks. You can't see me. Hold on. Give me my fronds. Kia! Do you see that jump attack? Amazing. New island, new dangers. Gloom Harrow. More amazing. 
axe action. Oh, it's gonna suck me. Don't do it. There's no need of it. Oh, dude, he sucked me right through my neck. Did you see that suck? I'm coughing now. This is a terrible disaster. I can't move. There's a tree in the way. Run, little girl. Don't get sucked. Ow, we're up close now. Okay, here we go. This is our headshot moment. Swing and a miss! Ah! Run away! Run away! Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Whoa! Headshot! Ow! Boink. to death all the meat go spear yeah gloom harrowed down all right last island uh didn't get a lot of stuff and things went to another island got some sea shards i have forty-seven thousand million now so uh yeah i don't know hopefully we can find something to spend those on one day uh i'm gonna take a look around in this area too i think once we gather up some stuff on this island we should be ready to do a redesign on the boat um i'm thinking about going a little bit smaller but there's also some other things we need to add in uh, to make it a little bit more livable of a deal. Is he gonna get spooked? Are you serious? Don't get spooked. You're fine. Everything's fine, little bleak. Okay, goodbye, blink. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna gather up some stuff over here, see what we got going on. If there's anything special, I'll show you what's going on. If not, I'll just... <gasps> another gloom hero? Well, there's another gloom hero. We can do another little battle here real quick. Let's do this. Maybe I can do this a little bit better than last time. I feel like I have the ability to do that. How many arrows we got? Eleven? Are you just standing in one spot? The perfect opportunity for a higgity headshot right here. This is it. Bam! Don't move. Stand right there. He's stunned with fear. There's nothing he can do. He knows the end is nigh. Yoink. All right. Another one of those guys. Don't need their skins. Have all the things I need. Actually, I think there's one other thing that the Gloom Hero skins are used for. We're down to 10 arrows now. There's one other thing I think that the Gloom Harrow skins are used for, but I can't remember exactly what it is off the top of my head. All right, island exploration, words and resource gathering. Let's do this. So, having pillaged the island of its resources and dropped some silk thread and blink fronds that our intrepid adventurer has no use for as we have huge amounts of them in storage, it is now time during the night time to craft up a new raft up. Let's go ahead and pop uh, over this way. Can I climb while I'm trying to craft? Let's put a wood deck over here. So what I'm thinking is that our two, our three long boat, what is that? Did you see that? It's like a weird rope. Our three long boat is too long. I feel like it's just too long and it doesn't need to be that long. Um, I think we could get by with two and I'm feeling like maybe another sail is in order too. Let's dismantle some of these guys and do some construction. While we're doing that, we're cooking up a bunch of food. I killed more angry grapes, so I got huge amounts of meat. We have big meat. We have small meat. Let's get some of these guys on the fire. But one of the things I think I kind of alluded to previously and I wanted to talk about is there's a weird disparity between what resources you get, like what resources you get and what you don't get. Um, it's quite strange, in fact. Like, I have huge... Look at all the gore horns I've got. Look at all of the gloom harrow skins we have. Uh, but we have no plane stalker horns. These are from the, what was it? Pond Wampers. But yeah, no plane stalker horns at all. So I can't build anything that requires those. Uh, and that's really strange. I feel like that's really, really weird. Um, and I'm not sure exactly why that is. And I, I think it has to do with just with that the game has the, you know, it's procedurally generated. So because it's procedural, it's like a new experience each time. But that means that you, because the resources are island specific, there might be things you don't get. Uh, how come I can't build that? Oh, I put the gem away, lol. I was like in my inventory wondering where that gem came from. The Sentinel Soul Gem is what we're going to need to put the figurehead back over on here. There we go. Like that and like this. So it's a little bit weird and it makes it a little bit tough. Like, I'm not sure if they were trying to go for replayability. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh, well, sometimes you won't get these things. So you'll have to replay it. But it means that in certain playthroughs, you might just not ever get certain items uh, that you would really need. <laughs> I mean, you'll get some. I guess there'll be less of some and more of others. I don't know. It just seems odd to me. Uh, being on the uh, last tier of our adventure here and not having really got into metal, not really having needed to do anything with the um, 
what is it the cauldron thing like there's a cauldron there's other things we just haven't really needed to use any of those things uh the other thing we want to take a look at is is it the regular fire that we need sticks and rocks let's go ahead and grab over here uh sticks rocks let's go ahead and back over in this area make another fire oh i can't uh wait that's the ground fire lol uh we need to make the other fire this one right here so i can place and then you can only place one thing you know what i mean like so i guess we could place it over here let's go ahead and make that thing happen now what i want to do here is i'm kind of feeling like uh we can make this into the drying rack the clay kiln built out of clay it can reach very high internal temperatures necessary for working with metal and setting pottery or the cauldron we can do this with crude metal and we only have three so i'm wondering if we should do this first we would need three clay for that let's do that let's go ahead over inside of here and grab our clay we have a bunch let's turn this guy nope not trying to do that let's turn this guy into the call or the clay kiln all right clay kiln now ooh, with a hammer crude metal metal pardon me and leather and a stick we can make the metal spear metal tipped arrows metal helm or metal dude i'm on the last level of the game i've only ever found how much metal five so there's no possible way i could build that armor like i just couldn't do it i'm wondering how that's made clay pot a sturdy pot made of clay a pot of trust what is it even for i have no idea what the clay pot does uh, I am interested in this, though. Let's grab, grab some leather. Let's make this metal spear, man. We've been kind of trying to save on resources by not making cool stuff, but we're towards the end of the game. Let's make this metal spear and, and see what it is. This is like a... It's not a Nagasaki. Na, Naginata? Is that what it's called? Dude, look at this spear. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that thing is cool. I love it. I love it. I wish I'd had it before the very last chapter. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else we can really do with the kill. We can make this hat, but I kind of like the armor we have, and we don't really take a lot of damage. I don't feel like we need better armor. Um, all right, so inside of here, let's put back maybe that metal and the clay inside of that guy. Now, uh, the issue that we're going to have is this bag rack, um, and I think this might be a little bit weird. Let's see how this is going to work for us here. So if we dismantle... Nope, not that guy. The bag rack? The bag rack that's right there. There it was over there. Bag rack? Don't, don't climb up. I'm just going to walk down, turn around, and dismantle the bag rack. I think the bag is just going to flop down on the ground. There it is right there. So that we get that guy. Now what I can do is maybe pop over here and then, like so, make another bag rack. Uh, This is our food bag. I feel like this is a good spot for a food bag. Pop that guy down right there. It already has a bag in it, which I don't think is true. I can't do anything. Yeah, hold the swap. Now I can grab that bag. Now I can grab this one. And then I can switch these guys around like so and like so. All right, sweet. So now I have all my regular stuff in my inventory. All right, great. So we got that going on. Now over here, what I'm thinking about is doing the cauldron. Now, so for the cauldron, we would need one more place. Build another fire over here. Now, I don't think we have enough metal to make it happen. But I'm just going to make it and see. So there's our fire. And then to make the cauldron, we need three crude metal. I think we have exactly enough. Four. Bam. Nailed it. Easy. Can't be stopped. Cauldron? Bam. Oh, I'm excited to see what we can do with this. I have no idea what the cauldron gives us as far as like our ability to make potions. Remedy of regeneration slowly regenerates health over a long period. I have food. It does that automatically and it does it way, way faster. Uh, drastically increase the speed of your stamina regen. That is very cool. Oh, and that's what we need the clay pots for. I'm wondering what a long period of time means. If it's like a half an hour, I'm totally down. Filter of fleet footedness increases your walk and sprint time for a long period of time. Sea lilies, flutter cups, elip elixir of ardent antidote. This is for poison, but we very rarely take any poison damage. Brew of brisk shot increases the fire rate of ranged weapons temporarily and increases your ranged weapon damage temporarily. All right, hold on a second here. Let's make some stuff and things happen. Uh, stamina is looking bad. Let's go ahead and eat uh, this guy. Let's go pop inside of here real quick and check on our meat production. Get some more meat going over here on the fireplace. All right, all the meats are being made, and then we're going to try to make a clay pot. So we'll pop over inside of there and grab that clay like so. Get inside of this guy. Clay pot, bam. How long does it take? Oh, is it a thing? 
Oh, wow. It's going to take a minute for it to craft. All right. We got our clay deal. We're good to go with that. What I wanted to try, speed of stamina regen for a long period of time. Increase your walk and sprint speed. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this is going to work right here. Four flutter cups or two seals, three flutter cups. Increase your walk and sprint speed for a long period of time. I feel like stamina regen is where it's at. So hold on. I didn't even look. Uh, flutter cups. Four flutter cups. We got those. Flutter nuts. Flutter butts. Flutter cups. Nine. All right. Let's make one of these guys. How long is this going to take? So this is my thing about the balance of how this stuff works. Is that if it takes you 60 seconds to make the actual clay pot and then it takes you i don't know this looks like maybe it's going to take 30 seconds to make the potion and then it takes you maybe along your journey a minute or two to gather up all the things like it really should give you a long buff you know what i mean not like five minutes like maybe maybe a 10 minute buff so you can explore a whole island i think that would be really really good oh you know what else we can do while we're waiting this has got to get changed around too uh, back inside of there, deconstruct, pull the anchor off of that middle guy, and then we'll pull this middle deal off as well. And the main reason that I wanted to downsize is just because the three long boat seems to be just hard to handle. It's just a little bit difficult to maneuver around in the, uh, in the, uh, ocean deals. And then this will also give us more resources where we can build some armor and stuff like that. So I think will be really cool to try out as well. All right. So there we go. Our new raft is looking nice. You know what? I may have... I have 17 wood. I could pop this all off and then rebuild this with a wood deck. That might be a really cool idea. All right, let's see. We got that guy right now. Our potion's ready to rock and roll. Do we grab it? Doesn't say how long. I'm drinking it. I'm drunk on a potion. Five minutes? No. No, uh, yeah, I probably won't use those. Jeez, man, I'm a little bummed out about that. I mean, five minutes for... Some of these are good. I can't even imagine how quick the other potions work. They're probably about a minute. But again, like, the mobs aren't really that tough. You don't need the buffs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's a lot of the things that we built right there. Uh, I want to change this around, though. Our adventure continues as we make another one of these bad hombres right here like so. Nice. Dude, our boat's looking hot now. All right. I'm liking this a lot. Let's go ahead and make another sail here. I'm wondering if we can put two sails on it. I don't, th I don't know if that'll be... I feel like it might be too fast. Is there such a thing? Uh, bamboo mast, three palm fronds. Dude, let's put a wood mast and a bamboo mast on. Three palm fronds. We got those guys right there. Can we add this guy back here? Oh, you guys. It's a catch. No longer a sloop. Slip Gator has made a catch. All right. So, oh, wait. There's one other thing, too. <gasps> I didn't even think about this. Hold on. We need to make our drying rack again. We can put this on, yeah, just this one side. Let's go ahead and throw that guy right over here. Like that. And then let's place our drying rack on top. Uh, of course, we can't. We need one more stick. Uh, we got... Did I grab them? Yeah, 21. All right, now let's go like so. Make our drying rack. All right, he's done it. So we have the ability now to do a lot of the things. Let's go ahead and put wood away. We still have 13. We could do actually a wooden mask. You know what? How much do the hulls cost? How much are the wooden hulls? Uh, I can't see it. That's so weird. Why does that happen? Three. Dude, we can change these hulls over to wood hulls too. All right. Let's see how this goes. Look at the beautiful double sail deal. Titan, I'm not going to use my speed boost. I just kind of want to get a feel for how this is going to work now. I like this a lot better. Dude, it's so cool. I love the catch. Two sail deal. Now, I think we could have actually made two wooden sails as well. But I didn't want to do that because... Um, I want to keep some of that wood for repairs in case we need it. Oh, it's a little bit... It's very maneuverable. I don't know if it's more maneuverable. I, I mean, this guy has to be because it's a little bit shorter. Dude, look at our new boat. It looks amazing. All right, out into the high seas. Oh, yeah. Turns on a dime. Let's get a little bit of speed boost going. All right, we're still a little floaty. It's not bad, though. I like the look of it, too. This is a beautiful ship. What a vessel. Well, I found a plane stalker and something else. Dude, leather? Yes. Yes. Plane stalker horn? Yes. There's another one up above me. How many arrows do I have? Only eight left. We're in a battle with these weird guys. Uh, you want some of this action? Come over here. You think you got what it takes? Ki! Those guys just give us little itty bits of meat. Can I wake this kid up? You want to get woken up? Get woke. Bam! Come at me, bro. 
Come at me, bro. What are you doing? Look how sleepy he is. Maybe, what are you, what are you, what the, oh, okay. Now he's right there. I wonder if I can get him. I hope I can get his body. Come over here, homie. You want some of this action? Ki! Oh, I can't even hit him. Oh, I got him. Fall down. Oh, maze. All right, hold on. Does this guy, are you gonna come at me, bro? Got that kid. This is unbelievable and amazing. All right, so two plane stalker horns where before we had none, so that's nice. Really the biggest thing, uh-oh, I think that guy might attack me. The biggest thing we needed was bones. And normally there are bones around the bottom. Yeah, right there. We need those really bad to make more arrows. We're completely out of bones, so that's awesome. Now, the, what was that? There was that thing. Did you see that thing? There was a thing. I don't know what it was. Something was under the ground. Usul, uh, again, it is the legend. Usul has called the big one. I feel like it might have been some sort of a, I don't know, a worm or something. Do you hear that? It's right there. Dude, I don't have enough arrows to get anything done right now. Uh, I'm wondering if with the two plane stalkers, maybe there are more bones around here. You can't really climb up on top of there, and it looks like there's tons of bones, but there's no real building or anything in the game that we could do in order to get up there. This island is pretty crazy, though. Look at all this cool stuff. I have decided to use the metal that we've found to craft arrows. I've crafted 20 of the metal arrows, and we're going to take a look at what's going on over here, because I'm going to take a wild guess and say... This is dangerous. I'm, I have a, a sneaking suspicion that this might be dangerous. There's one of those stupid guys over there. I kind of want to take these guys out so they don't attack me while I'm doing stuff. Okay. All right. We got... Is there more than one? No, no, no. I thought I saw something up over there. It was just rocks. So there's... Oh, there's another guy over here. Let's go take this guy out real quick, maybe. Bring it on. Stay right there. Oh, I missed him. Stupid. I can't see. Chip. All right. And there's a third guy over here. Come on. Where'd he go? Teleportation, Kyle. Nailed it. Oh, my God. That hit. Another two more plane stalkers. Oh, this could be really bad. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Make sure I'm keeping an eye on my stamina. What are you all about? What's happening? What is this? What was that? What is this? Holy crap! What was that? You wanna, you wanna take it to the limit? Keep your eyes on, slip, shoot! Nailed it! Oh, looks like we can only get one hit at a time. Tremor lurk! Somebody watched the movie Tremors. Bam! Oh, dude, I can't waste my arrows. All right, one hit. Per, I don't even know what to call it. When it comes out of the sand. Ow! Oh my god, that hurt. Oh, 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 oh! Three roasted meat, please? Oh, maybe another one? No, wrong button. Three? Okay. Okay, we're good. Do not get hit. Got a hit? Where you at? Where you at? One more hit and we should be GTG. He's running. He's run scared. Nailed it. Ace it can't be stopped. The tremor lurk is dead. D E T. <gasps> Dude, where did my arrows go? A sentinel soul gem. What? Okay. We got a sentinel soul gem. Uh, yeah. I mean, I found plenty of those. I don't think I really need that right now. That was a hell of a boss battle. I really kind of was hoping for, I don't know, wings? I guess you can make wings. The glider has wings. All right. Our adventure continues. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Snake? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Dead snake? Grab our arrows. And the snake gave us arrows. All right, so how many do we have left? 13 out of 20. Dude, killing that thing and getting the Sentinel Soul Gem. I don't know if that was worth seven arrows. Uh, I had to drop a gore horn. I can pick it up, I guess. All right, 
So the adventure cup. What the continues? Let's get out onto the open ocean. The final putting in of the key thing. I grabbed all the shells. I went to a couple more islands. It was all kind of stuff we'd seen before. I didn't see another one of the tremor guys, but let's check out this fifth mural piece. They should sell these murals. I would buy them. I would put these on my wall. They're beautiful. The shells, the Nautilus things were on shells, island things, and there was lightning. And then they did a front flip in between two islands. First time ever done by a giant Nautilus god thing while there was lightning. And then <laughs> the people sailed away terrified into the sunrise, sunset. I just think they're beautiful pieces of art. Those look really, really cool. All right, so the final crossing acceptance. Each one of these little obstacle courses has been a little tougher than the one before. We have made through, made it through all the other four unscathed. Well, man, there was a slight amount of scathing. The scathing was very minimal. It was like, I don't even know, like a two out of 10 scathing, maybe a one and a half. I'm just gonna power through, man. Hopefully a giant shell or something doesn't pop out of the water or a humongous tentacle. New uh, end game music, I think we're experiencing right now. It's pretty cool. The music in this game has all been very great. I've always, li I've really liked it. Excuse me. I'm kind of uh, surprised that as you upgrade your boat, it doesn't seem to really handle much better as you go from grass to bamboo to wood. Oh my God. Whoa! <laughs> I probably should not be using the boost right now. I feel like I might wait. Wow! No, 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 get out of the way! Oh, that was close, man. All right, boost. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, oh! Coral heads all over the place. What the crap was that? That was weird. It looked like a monster made of water or something. Dude, look at that thing. Whoa, oh, I was paying attention. No. Ow. Uh. Boost. Don't whack me. Whoa, dude. I'm out of control. Whoa, huge wave. Huge wave. Oh, oh my God, that scared me. Holy crap, dude. Whoa, was that a shark? Dude, there is seam right over there on the right side. There was a shark over there. Yeah, there is. Go, boost. Go, slip, go. Don't, no. Uh, <laughs> Went in the drink there a little bit. Dude, don't bother me, shark. No, shark. Breaks. Holy crap. Okay, no boost, just calm. Smooth sailing ish. Jellyfish, avoid. I have no idea what they do. I've never hit them. Another slappy tentacle. Careful. <laughs> Ugh, this catamaran is amazing. <laughs> it's so, so buoyant. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> 
the music. So good. The crescendo right as we stop dead. All right, let's head over this way a bit. I still have boost ready, but all right, fine. We'll use it. Ooh. Oh, the end looks a little bit uh, different. All right, here we go. Whoa! No, not the speed burst. Uh, I can't believe I haven't broken this boat. This is ridiculous. Whoa, I think something's... Whoa! Why, cruel tentacle? Why? Oh, his eyeball is huge. It's like a giant, beautiful Nautilus cuttlefish thing. It's so cute. Why do you hate me so much? I, I haven't done anything to you. Oh, our magical ore. Oh, that's right. We found the little artichoke. Oh, no wonder he was so pissed at us. We stole his artichoke, baby, to power our sailing adventure. Look how cute it is. Oh, he's flurping away. See you later, little baby. Also, I can hold my breath for a long time. Oh! We're back, but this isn't my raft. Huh? It's neat that it keeps my armor on. It has the same armor as we had before. It would be really cool if in the end it had your boat, but that would be tough. Whoa! And now we are flying. Oh, and there's all of our friends from the beginning. Remember in the beginning? So wait a second. In the beginning we got attacked. I don't even, we got attacked by the thing in the beginning and then we had to steal its baby to make the ore in order to get back to where we started. So we were just doing our thing. The Nautilus thing came and got pissed at us, transported me to an alternate dimension where I stole its baby, made a magical ore out of it, which helped me to get to the end where I almost was able to teleport out, but was then attacked by the Nautilus thing to get its baby back and then it just transported me back. This game's confusing. <laughs> oh man, well that was Windbound, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the series, hit the thumbs up button. Show your support, ladies and gentlemen. On completing the game, totally, I gotta say. Uh, very much a thank you to Windbound for the sponsoring some of the early content that we did. But then we went through and played the rest of the game on our own because it was very good. There's definitely some issues with this game. It's a bit repetitive. The economy doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, resource gathering is weird. You don't always get kind of like the things you need. So it's a little bit off. But at the end, I do feel like I had a great time playing it. And me being a sailing fan personally, I love the sailing mechanics. That was a great part of the game. I would love to see... Uh, I don't know, just some minor tweaks, you know, to make this a little bit more of a, a complete adventure that makes makes sense, uh, especially the story. The story was very strange, um, but other than, I don't know, it was great. I liked it. So that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next one. May the stuff and things be with you.